Hello there, my crypto bit brothers and sisters, and this here is Bulldog Rod, and over here is my pal and good buddy and friend and brother-in-law, Papa Ron. <laughs> Rod, how are you? I'm doing great, man. If I was doing any better, I'd be twins. <laughs> then the world would be twice as much in trouble. <laughs> good to hear. <laughs> yeah. What's up in the world of news today? Well, you know what? Uh, <laughs> Um, a couple days ago, maybe even three, uh, I was asked to go on, uh, and you were too, but you had a commitment on yeah. Yes for Motivation. We did yeah. an interview on there, a live feed thing, and we had uh, James Bond, first time I'd met him. Um, Ooh, 007? But, yeah, that's his <laughs> uh, crypto name. But anyway, one of the questions that came up on that show that Luke proposed to us was about artificial intelligence. Wow. And at that, you know, within the crypto world, now we kind of know what artificial intelligence is through all the sci-fi yeah. movies and, oh, and yeah. all that stuff. And uh, matter of fact, you had mentioned one to me. Which one was that? A Centennial Man. Yeah, I got a... Uh, I don't know if yeah. any, the, 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 most of these people in the crypto world are too young to know what the Bicentennial <laughs> Man is. Yeah, that was a good movie. It's Robin Williams. He was pretty young then. But it was a movie about about what, Rod? You tell me. I remember it. Well, it was, it was a movie about a, a, a robot that was given to a family. It happens in the future. And he, as he goes along, he starts developing... AI, artificial intelligence, and then, and then he got to a point to where he went out on, a, and, and he wanted to become human, and he wanted the same rights and and, and be recognized as human, and it was his struggle. It tells about his struggle to become to that. Yeah, and they actually did. They yes, kind of gave him a human form, and yes, so anyway, th this is this is kind of what the old. When you think of artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence, Rod and I think of these old sci-fi movies and and how oh, yeah. robots and programs better themselves through. Yeah. Uh, and it, and it well, kind of go ahead. Well, so there's a lot of them. You know, like there's one that has a police department or the government spying on somebody, and this hard intelligence turns around and and corrupts everything and tries to kill everybody that isn't good or according to their their. Uh, protocol, you know, so yeah, so that's the kind of artificial intelligence we always hear about, yeah, the bad ones. We could probably think of a dozen movies. One that I just thought oh, about yeah. is that uh, uh, Let's Play a Game. Remember oh, it's, yeah. It's, oh, uh, yeah. War um, Game or something like that. Yeah, War Games. Yeah, that's Do You right, Want to Play a Game? Yeah, yeah. 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 Anyway, so uh, this artificial intelligence that was posed to us on this show, I hadn't heard anything about as far as being involved in the crypto world. So I started looking into that, and uh, and sure enough, um, there's some articles out there about it that I wasn't really aware of. Uh, one, and today... Hey, look at this one. August 21st, 2017. Man, we get the news before it even happens. <laughs> today... <laughs> Folks, folks, today is August 20th. We're recording this Sunday evening. Yeah. And uh, like Rod said, man, when we dig the scoops, we, we get them before the public even gets them. That's right. Stick to the crypto bit, brother, and you'll get them before they actually happen. <laughs> well, little do we know, down here it says January 5th. Oh, this shit. article came out, and that's what caught me. Hey, <laughs> pop my bubble. Um, so even back in January, they were talking about this artificial intelligence. Is Bitcoin the currency of artificial intelligence? And it goes on here and talks about just what Rod was talking about. What if robots are self-sovereign entities, and they can own property, own money, and have legal rights and so forth, just like the Bicentennial Man? Yeah. Um, and this article kind of goes through that, but it's not really related to, to what we're focusing on today. Um, but before we get into that, um, we kind of wanted to discuss Bitmain. And uh, I don't know how many of you folks know who Bitmain is. Uh, they, uh, they're, they're huge in this crypto industry. They, they produce mining rigs 
out of Beijing, I think, Rod. Yes. And uh, they're involved in some of the biggest mining pools. Now, if you don't know what a mining pool is, you know, when, when you first start bi- mining for Bitcoin in the early days, a person could do it on his home computer to yeah. figure out these algorithms and these uh, mathematical equations to be rewarded Bitcoin. Well, as these equations got harder and harder, some of these people realized that if they pooled together and have all their computers working on it as a group, they could solve them quicker and have a benefit over other people that are mining them. So Bitmain is involved in some of the biggest mining pools in in the world that's mining Bitcoin. And I think... I want to say their their mining pools together represent about 45% of all the mining and the hash power and all that involved in this. So they're huge. Plus, they're creating and selling the mining rigs worldwide. They're one of the biggest yeah. companies to do that. So they're actually just making a small fortune. So um, let's kind of share with the people, Rod, real quick about Bitmain okay. just so they get a feel we, got, we just pulled up some uh, slides off uh, images. They actually have nine of these warehouses. Eight of them are designed to mine Bitcoin, and I think one of them's for Ethereum. Um, and you can see how massive these things are. Um, you know, it's insane when you get looking at all this stuff. Of course, they have full-time techs that actually live there. And these these uh, warehouses, this group here is in Mongolia. Yeah, that's right. So the people the people there actually live there. They eat there. Uh, they even got a basketball court. See that? <laughs> I, th- I thought I had a picture of them uh, chowing down, but maybe not. But you see how long these things are. They're, they're just massive. Um, of course, they got huge fans to keep everything cooled down and all that. So Bitmain is a big player, and the article that this video is focusing on, um, actually is this article here, China's Bitmain dominates Bitcoin mining, and that's kind of what we just explained to you. Now it wants to cash in on artificial intelligence. Sure. Why not? Um, and it's yeah, and it's 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 more than what Rod and I just kind of depicted about these sci-fi movies and all. I'd like to uh, uh, Rod, let me just read you this, can I? Yeah, I wish you would. It just explains it pretty well. Artificial intelligence, and they represent it as AI. And you know, I I go to some websites that a lot of the articles start with AI, meaning it's referring. This article has. Uh, reference to artificial intelligence, but it still it just never dawned on me about this crypto world being involved in this. Artificial intelligence means software that after its initial programming continues to improve its performance based on experience of the environment it's been set to learn in. So, and, and that's kind of what you're talking about. As these right. programs, these software programs go through the experience of what they're doing. They they learn by their mistakes and what worked best and positive and they better themselves. Um, yeah, and it's done in split nanoseconds. Yeah, yeah, probably. No, you're right. I'm not a big tech guy. Rod has been in the past, but uh, anyway, this um, this article goes on and it talks about the Bitmain uh, and how the the owners of this met. I think this is one of the owners here. Um, and they, they want to get into this. I guess it involves with silicone and, yeah, and, cr- and creating these chips. And they call it deep learning chips. These chips correct themselves and learn and with this silicone makes it much more effective and quicker response time so it says here that uh, the startup is poised to challenge the lights of Google 
Navidia. Yeah. You're familiar and with AMD. them. And yeah. AMD. What do they do, Rod? They. Well, Navidia is a uh, GPU, which is a graphics card type uh, computer chip, and the AMD is a CPU chip. So they're getting involved in all that. So uh, now, now Bitcoin is in our world. It's big, you know. The market cap is is in the billions and all that. But according, you get on some of these big boys like Google, and it's kind of a drop in the bucket, maybe. But Bitmain wants to compete with these guys in this deep learning, artificial intelligence world of software and chips and all. So we're, folks, we're going to list this article down in the description box. It's a great article. Um, yeah, check this out here, Rod. Um, I know. This talks about the mining aspect and how important it is. Um, Bitcoin mining is the process of checking and adding new transactions to Bitcoin's ledger, its blockchain. Miners must compete with one another to be the first to find a new block. In returning, in return for their performing this work, which requires massive processing power and incurs hefty electricity costs, miners are rewarded with a certain number of bitcoins for each block they add to the blockchain. Currently, that's 12.5 bitcoins per block. Now, times that by the current price of 3,200 or whatever it's at. 30, no, 30. Oh, my heck, 38 right. or 30. Anyway. Yeah. And then it says Pretty here, <laughs> catch this, it says uh, a new block is found roughly every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, they're uh, rewarding 12 and a half Bitcoins to some miner somewhere. At the current Bitcoin price of about 4000 that's $50,000 up for grabs every 10 minutes or $7 million a day in mining. Wow. So wow. Now, now you know why they're building these huge warehouses filled with all these computers because the rewards hey, are so Ron, hefty. Ron, yes, sir. Let, let, let's forget all of this uh, 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 YouTube stuff and let's build some warehouses, man, with this stuff. <laughs> seven billion, seven million hey. dollars a day, oh baby. So, I know. Do you think they'd take your... Uh, you have the property. All we got to do is build the building. <laughs> well, we we got the property, but uh, do you well, think we have that to hire some of these guys over over in China to come over and tell us? How yeah, we need it. <laughs> I'm just wondering though if that tenth of a bitcoin you own would be enough collateral <laughs> to get the loans. <laughs> hell, hell, in about uh, two or three years, it'll be worth one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. Folks, we're not going to belabor this, belabor it, but uh, that article is fascinating, and, and this artificial intelligence is the next wave coming in all this, I think, and Bitmain's trying to be on top of it. They want to increase their millions upon millions of dollars and make even more, um, yeah. and you can't begrudge them. I mean, that's the nature of the beast when you're in business. you got to keep growing, I think. I know well, you know what I like about these guys that, that they're willing to share their technology with people as long as they're willing to pay for it, you know? Yeah, and, it, and, and so, I mean, they're not trying to hoard it all. I mean, they'll, they'll share it. <laughs> it did reference <laughs> that in the article. Here's one of the other owners. I think he's 31 years old. Um, and it did mention that, Rod, that that they're willing to uh, – they want to get a jump on it and sell it to the likes of Google or whoever needs it. Yeah, very good. Um, and if they make their own chips, especially their deep chip, that's why they need the silicon, because the silicon is the base and what they make the chips out of. You know, they they inlay it with uh, photographs and photographic stuff and all kinds of good runs, all kinds of chemicals. You know, we have a plant here in uh, Utah that does that. So, and I used to work for them many years ago. <laughs> hmm. Well, we like I said, I just we found this interesting. We don't want to belabor this and go into a half an hour video on it, but the article's worth skimming through. We'll put it down there with a couple of those other articles we had. Thanks, I wish folks. You would. God bless.